Hi everyone, welcome to the Alpha Las Vegas Open here in the Rio All Suites and Hotel, run by Predator and CSI. We have our next match for today. It's the last 64 single elimination match. A great matchup between the South Dakota kid, Shane Van Boning, and he's facing fellow American countryman, Jeremy Seaman. In the commentary booth for this match, we have a future superstar, Sophia Mast, and myself, Tim De Ruiter. Welcome, Sophia. How are you today? I'm great. How are you? Good, good. Yeah, I'm very looking forward to this match. I think this could be a lot closer than most of the people yes. think. So. Yes, it's going to be a good one. Yeah, especially now they changed the format in the Pro Build series. From the single elimination phase, they added an extra set. So yeah. that means mm -hmm. we only go to a shootout if in the it's third set we go hill hill yes do you yes. like that change i i actually do i i feel like it's it's more ac accurate like and it's gonna do well i feel like i feel like that's how it should be yeah, especially I think the, the shootout came up a little bit too much yeah. at some point so i think <laughs> it's a it's a good change and oh what a break that was from shane from boning to start yeah. with that like was great three balls on the break and yeah it's Playing nine ball almost. Yeah. So, you see anything tough here or? No, not really. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah, just gotta make sure he plays good angles. If he gets straight somewhere, he could get in trouble, but. Yeah. Oh, well, he's got a little bit more angle on the four now, so he might play for the six in the right side pocket. Just got there. Yeah. I think the spin didn't really grab on the table. Of course, the TV yeah. tables are a little bit more slick. Don't yes. grab the spin that much. Yeah, good recovery and yeah. great start for SVB. Yeah, it was definitely the greatest break. Yeah, Shane Van Boning, who lost his first match on the TV table. Did go through the whole loser side to now be back in the last 64. And the break and runs the first break. Looks like he's feeling good. Yeah, of course, he's been playing a lot lately, of course. He's been playing the Swansea Memorial Tournament, and then he played with Tony Chohan. He's been playing a lot, so of course he has to be in stroke. Yeah, That's yeah. how I feel like it. There's no way you cannot be in stroke if you play maybe five, six hours a day. No, not at all. Yeah, we have Jeremy Seaman, sponsored by Seabirds Billiard Supplies, also one of our sponsors for the events. Good player himself, just not that known, hasn't really been winning tournaments, but he has mm -hmm. a, I think he played a quarterfinal last year in the Wisconsin Open, quarterfinal or last 16, so. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to the break. A little bit of spin on there. Yeah, that was a lot. Yeah, lost the cue ball and I truly believe the more spin you accidentally get on the cue ball, the less impact you really give on the balls because it takes away the energy on the mm -hmm. balls. So in this case... That's what happened, yeah. Yeah, it might not have really worked out for him. So, and an opening shot for Jeremy. I think that one ball goes. Well, maybe also some pressure, of course, in the arena for Jeremy Seaman, who is not so known. Yes. Doesn't play that much in arenas, and then he's playing Shane Van Boning in it. Definitely. Good shot. Oh. Got a little 50-50 on this yeah. two ball. Did you feel the difference playing in the arena compared to the other tables? Like, w were you more, n more nervous? What did it do to you? Um, it's definitely nerve-wracking. I've never played in something that big. And so it was nerve-wracking, and I felt like I needed to get used to it more. And I, I just wasn't in stroke a lot. But, yeah, I... 
if I get more used to it, I feel like I can I can do better. It was just my first time, and yeah, I mean, it was it's a good experience, experience. Right? yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, missed it too, and it has left it on. Just barely overcut that two ball. Yeah. Jeremy Seaman, who qualified to the winner's side. I believe he won three matches in a row and then to draw Shane Van Boning. It's tough, tough. You could, you could <laughs> say that's a tough draw. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it was just getting from that two to the three. Besides that, not crazy much work. Nope, not at all. Two balls in front of the side pocket. Always has to stay focused, of course. Cannot really get on the wrong side of the ball or the wrong angle can really ruin the party. Yes. I've learned that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how you learn. You know, cue ball control is obviously very important, even though you can shoot from everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one, he looks like he got a little straighter. Or I was thinking maybe he can shoot the six off the ten and still play shape on the seven. Yeah, yeah. But he chose to go all the way around. Yeah, take a different angle. Play with top spin to make it long. Good shot. Just does not want to be straight. Nope. Well, got a little ugly, I think. Can't play for the nine in the side. Seems pretty confident. He's not scared to punch the balls around so far. Now we will play for the short side on the 10. Just small draw. Oh, he's looking very determined so far. Mm -hmm. He wants to win. Yeah, 2 0. Dave and Bowman. Very good start. And so far, I'm. Look, I'm really watching a different Shane Van Boning than when I seen him play in the first match. Mm -hmm. We'll go for a short little one minute break. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Yeah. Wow. What a shot this is. There's a highlight shot. Brilliant if I ever shot. saw one. Brilliant shot from Roland Garcia. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Well, this is a class in kicking from these two and jumping and positional play. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Well played. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. No, cue ball. He's all right, and he's got a shot on the two. Great shot again with that jump stick. to the Alfa Las Vegas Open, last 64 match. Shane Van Boning leading 2-0 over Jeremy Seaman. And made a seven in the corner, banked it straight in. Not a straight shot on the seven, I mean the one ball. Yeah, just that one ball here, that tucked in. Quite difficult yeah. situation here. I might just roll up on the one and... Just double tap it. Yeah. Just because if you leave it frozen to where if, I, if Jeremy shoots towards the four, he's going to open the four, or the other way, he's going to open the nine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then he's opening up for Shane. Yeah. That's what he decided, yeah. Yeah, you see, now he's always going to open up the four. Yes. Or touch the four, at least. Difficult shot. Looks really easy, but also the double hit is there. Mm -hmm. So for the viewers back home, we're playing three races to four. Of course, we can be done after two sets, but it's three races to four. In case both players win one set and it goes hill hill, we'll go to a deciding shootout. And 
early ten balls are allowed, so any combinations, caroms, yeah, whatever actually yes. does count, but just not on the break. He's gonna try to play a, a safe on this one. It's definitely close. Yeah, if he can put the cue ball to where he's not going to hit the nine, and he doesn't want to push the nine off the rail as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like Good this, shot. I don't think there's any room between the nine and the rail to kick. No. This is. Yeah, because it's gonna hit the nine first. Yeah. Referee checking to see if there's any room between the one and the rail. I think he said it's on the rail. Yeah, if it's frozen, you will have to hit another rail after contacting the one. The yes. one doesn't count it as touching the rail. Yeah, what do you do? I mean, I probably will shoot the four away or something just to give, give myself some more space. Ooh. Yeah. I think that was a good shot. Yeah. I didn't Two. know if he could still see that little edge oh. yeah must have been that was a good shot good shot good hit oh he definitely bought himself a little bit more time mm -hmm. so. takes away from the three foul too and, uh, cut what did he call the three i haven't heard him say it but well he must have Everybody's acting like it was supposed to be like this, so <laughs> I guess he called it. <laughs> now, he's got a long two ball, but he's got a great angle to go two rails up for the four. Just high right. Could go straight to the, short, the, to the other short rail. He's playing with low right, he's playing four rails. Yeah, three, four. Yeah. Most players prefer this. I really don't mind going straight to that short rail. Yeah. So opening up that six ball. Good shot. And he's playing fast too. He's yes. Looks like he's really in stroke and feeling good. Yeah, did hit that a little firm. Yeah, now he's a little over the 10. Not much, though. Might be just okay. Oh, yeah. We'll be playing two rails here. Just like that. Do you know why he's playing the two rails? You get better position, and it's in line. Yeah, you always come towards your next shot. So if you under hit it, you're good. And if you over hit it, you're really close and still okay. Mm -hmm. If you cross that positional area, really tough to Get judge the speed. In. Well, the speed is, is really tough to yeah. judge. Yeah, this is to go on the hill, and so far, a perfect performance by Shane Van Boney. Yes. most popular American players at the moment. Always brings a big crowd. He's definitely one of my favorite players to watch, at least. Yeah, I like the fact also that he does play a little bit faster than some of uh, the most of the players. Most of the players, they don't play that fast as like mm -hmm. he's doing right now. Makes it enjoyable to watch yes. for me. <laughs> yeah, it, it does. So Shane breaking. Break number four. Has had really good breaks so far. He's known for his 10 ball break, of course. There we go, two balls again. It just won't stop. Yeah. Just no a little unlucky there. Yeah, no position on the one. Yeah, if he had bumped that cue ball just slightly, it would have been okay. But he's close to the one and can play a good safety. Can <laughs> hit the one ball thin. Yes. Bring the cue ball all the way down table next to the four. He did 
hit it a little thick. Oops. Well, I think he I has think, yeah. left the cut. Yeah, I think he does. It's not one of the easier cuts. Nope. I mean, it's, it's long and thin. But what else would you play? Maybe kick from the back, play safe? You could do that, kick and stick. Yeah, because if you do thin it, it could hit the five. I mean, oh. you could play the two in the side. But. Yeah, so it, you could go for the cut and run into the five, but it's a little wild, and if you miss, yeah, if you miss the one, you're gonna sell out too. Yes. So you might just kick from the back. Yeah, I do yes. like this. It's a great shot from Jeremy Seaman. Yes. Reaching for the jump cue. Call the one ball in the corner. Oh, nice wow. Shot. <laughs> what nice a shot, shot from Shane Bonin. Beautiful. Perfect position as well on the two. Yes. Of course, still got to play another good shot on the two ball to get to the four, but at least he's given the chance, the opportunity. Yes. Even much either. Yeah, I cannot really complain about the outcome. Just hit it a little bit too thick, maneuvering the cue ball around the six. Everything was perfect, just a little accuracy. Tough here though, it's tough to kick one drill. Because the six and the seven are blocking through this way. Yes. So he might kick a little further and then with low left to really bend the cue ball. I don't really think he can go through the other side. Maybe yeah off the short rail, but no, both yeah. the cue ball and the two ball will come down if he places. Yeah. So yeah, just like this. No yeah. good. This game will aggravate it, Jeremy Seaman. Of it course, it because he doesn't really get much either when Shane does give him the opportunity. Yeah, it, it would be annoying because you want to you want to get that stroke and get into the game, especially being down 3-0. Yeah, you want the opportunity at least to turn the set around. It's looking pretty good to go get the yeah. first set. Yeah, from here, not really much he can do. Has a little angle on the five, so expect him to follow the cue ball, maybe a little inside. No, he decided to play around the Ooh. seven. Yeah. Oh, and uh, that six ball might still go. Yeah. If he plays pocket speed, the pocket does get bigger. Yes. So he might still be able to flow it in. I think he can. Yeah, it looks like it. Good speed. Nice shot. Yeah, good recovery, and from here, three stop shots. Yeah, this is to win the first set. Very impressive imp performance so far. Yeah, he's barely missed a ball. Yeah, 4 0. Shane Van Bonen takes the first set. Very impressive performance. We'll go for a short little break. We'll be right back with set number two.
welcome back to the Alpha Las Vegas Open here, last 64. Shane just won the first set, 4-0. We're starting with set number two. Shane started to break off in the first set, so that means Jeremy gets the break in set number two. And it looks like he left him a good shot on the wind ball. Yeah, and look at the, this layout, it's wide open. And how Shane been running shooting, it looks like. It's good. Yeah, you can float almost every ball in. Of course, they're also playing a 30-second shot clock, as far as I know. With extension, Barak. But he doesn't really look like he needs one. No, not at all. <laughs> oh, Jeremy and Shane are both quite speedy players, so I wouldn't really worry about the time. No. But it also doesn't really give you much time to think. Yeah, yeah. Did you have any problems with the shot clock? Like, did you think it was difficult? Um, so, at first, I'm like, I kept looking at the shot clock, which I felt like that messed with my my mind because when I was watching Weiwei play, she wasn't really looking at the shot clock, and so by the end, I started not looking at the shot clock, and I like I was just focused on shooting, and I felt like I was playing a, a little better. And so I think I'm gonna use that next time. Just don't look at it. I mean, of course, if it's getting low, then yeah, but don't look at it as much as I did because I looked at it like two or three times and yeah. it just mess, messed with my brain. Yeah, like. you can spend so much time on looking at the shot clock, but that's also time you're missing out on looking yes. at the table and making a plan. So two wheels position here. Ooh. Oh. Oh my goodness. We did not really see that coming. Looks like, uh, did he leave him the shot? Yeah, I think he's left it nine ball on. And a very unexpected miss. Was always going to be on some kind of shot on the 10. So his first chance. Yeah, first big mistake from Shane Van Boning. That's very tough. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Looks like it might go. If it does not go, he can still messe slightly around it. Oh, oh it yeah, that goes, yeah. Good shot. Yeah, so it's a big steal for Jeremy Seaman here. It's always nice to get the first game on the board, get some more confidence, and then usually you start to feel better when you get that first game. Yeah, that's it, that's just how I felt too. Like when I when I got a game, it felt good. It always feels good. Yeah, it gets you kick-started. Yeah. Yeah, big crowd. Slowly more and more people starting to show <laughs> up here. Yeah. Yeah, we've got multiple rooms here. Two TV arenas. Over 340 Predator Apex and 7-foot tables for the CSI National Championships. What do you like about the tables? I actually love the table. Uh, they shoot like really good, and some shots are like you can't shoot hard or also bubble out. But I, and especially like I really like the TV table. It's different from when um, you practice on the regular tables because they've been played on more. They they feel different. Yeah, but yeah. I like, like it less light probably. Yeah, but I like it better. Oh, and again. Dry break. And a, a shot on the one. Yeah, just not sure. I don't think that three ball goes, so Shane will have to do will have to play a very good positional shot from the two, two to the three. Yes. Well, first a little draw. Expect him to go two rails to the three ball. So like maybe a high right. Cross, cross over just past the side pocket on the left for the three in the bottom right corner. Oh, oh it no, might go. This is saying me that it might go. Must go actually, yeah. otherwise he would not <laughs> play it like this. Which in that case, wide open again and yeah, it must don't. be must be tough for Jeremy Cena. Oh, it's a friendly bump. Oh, and he 
got it. Straight though. Might be shooting a long shot on the five if he doesn't have enough angle. Yeah, maybe he can still draw his way out of there. Draw with left spin. Yes. Cheat really just a small bit of the bucket and then now he can at least cue the shot yes. instead of being on the rail. That's still not an easy shot though. He can drop it in, shoot the six in the top right corner. But that's a quite sensitive shot to play it that soft. So you might also play more speed and go two and rails side. for the six in the side yeah oh my goodness and this is what usually happens when you try to slow roll the ball and oh it's now two games in a row where he's, he's kind of messed it up yeah of course this one was a lot tougher than that nine ball but yes. the more shots he's gonna miss the more he's gonna break down from the inside he's gonna feel a little bit worse and still didn't really leave him much to actually shoot at. He's probably playing the cut to the side just in case. Always had shape on the six ball. And we heard the, the beep from the shot clock. He was just in time striking the five ball. So Shane kicking two rails. Could go one rail, it's really close. Double kiss and left a shot on for Jeremy Seaman, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And a difficult route to go to the six. Here we see it again. Got a little bit too short and double kissed. Played for the side. Didn't praying for it. a good bump and did not get it at all. It's a small jump though if he would choose to jump it, but yeah. then there's a scratch. If he plays the Massé, it's really tough to get on the seven ball. He's looking to jump. Yeah, I think if he can hit it thin enough, he can still go long wheel, short wheel out for the seven. To get on the seven. Mm, maybe. He yeah, could, yeah, I think, I think he, he does, yeah. In the side. Yeah, it's, it's not ideal oh. to the side, but. It might go in the corner. Yeah, the corner would be great if he could play that. Yeah, yeah it looks, looks like, like it. Goes. the table not sure why he was apologizing maybe he was trying to get on the left side of the 10 and just overhit it but still okay he can play position for the 10 ball in the same corner pocket as long as he makes this he decided to go a little bit more into it and on the side where the corner a is a little bit in between I'll go for the side in this one. Yeah, maybe drawing the cue ball away from the scratch. Good. Yeah, Jeremy Seaman. 2 0 up in the second set, and slowly he's gaining a little momentum, and Shane from Boning is losing his feel. We'll be back after a short break. I actually didn't. I mean, I'm trying to play every game from the beginning. It doesn't matter what form it is, what race it is. You know, it's cool. Every time it's going to be the same. So I'm 
trying to just play and focus one regular at a time. I actually like the third set instead of the shootout. I think more pool favors the better player. Uh, so I, I actually prefer it that way. So I, I like it. Back here, the Alpha Las Vegas Open. Jeremy Seaman up 2 0 in set number two against Shane Bowman. He's not been managing to make a ball in the break. First time to make a ball for Jeremy. Got a shot in the one ball. Not easy. But yeah, especially getting on the two ball. Mm -hmm. Very difficult. Got that one ball in, the cue ball is most likely to run up to the 4, 7, 10. Oh, that's exactly where you don't want it to be. No. <laughs> yeah, I th still think he's got to try though. If you get a little lucky and you get on the two, then everything is solved. Oh. But he's missed it and... Overcut it, ball. gotta leave it looks like. I think he's got lucky there. Shane, not happy with what no. what he got on the table. I mean, I feel like nobody would though. Does he have a small little piece he can hit? Yeah, he called it. Maybe yeah. he can mess a and still cut it. It's difficult. Oh, yeah, he overcut it. That was even more difficult yeah. to do. So, extra chance, another opportunity for Jamie Seaman to get himself on the hill. Jamie Seaman from Michigan. Playing all the US Pro well, yeah, all the US Pro Billet Series events so far. I've seen him everywhere. This one also looks like an open table. Probably shoot the four in the side. Yeah, four in the side and roll up for the five. And if you look at the eight and the ten, they're both in front of the pocket, so it's just connecting the dots here. Yep. You slow down. Yeah, got a little far on this full ball. I have to draw into the short rail and come back out, but has to make sure he doesn't run into the 10 or the 7 ball. Or can he play with inside and bump off the 6? Yeah, he, he just he decided to take a longer 5 ball. He's not scared to shoot. No. It's his, his message. It's always tougher when you're jacked up, too. Yeah, good thing, though, if he plays good speed. Ooh. Ooh. If he played good speed and would have hit the long rail, <laughs> it would still slide in. That was the, the pro in this story. The con was, if you hit the short rail, it might stay up. Starting to, I can see he's starting to feel a little better. Yep. He actually gets uh, op uh, shots, so he has yeah. more momentum. Yeah. <coughs> yeah it's it kinda easy, easy to play good if you have a big momentum and a good break. But kind of even seems like things have shifted, and like the roles have gone to. Uh, Journey. Yeah, yeah. First set, it was all Shane, and now second set. So far, 
It's only Jeremy Seaman. Zero second set. Jeremy Seaman. Yeah, and this is a very important message he's showing because he could have been so so impressed by Shane's performance in the first set that he would probably think, oh well, well, what am I gonna do here? And maybe just, yeah, not make a ball anymore. You know, yeah. that it does happen to players. So it's good that he has that mental resistance saying, yeah. okay, come on now, let's turn it around because you need it. Yeah, I feel like pool's all about mentality and you always have to stay confident. Yeah, easier said than done. Yes, yes, definitely, <laughs> 100%. <laughs> so let's see, has broke the balls pretty okay so far. Made one ball on the break last break. It was his first successful break. And somewhat, somewhat a miss hit on the break. Look at how much spin on the cue ball there is. Still spinning. Well, his last breaks were a little better and a tough shot for Shane to start with. A couple different options you can play. Could bank into the four ball. Could also choose to cut the one ball. I think that's what he's doing, cutting the one ball. Good shot. Oh, where is? Okay, now does he have a carom maybe on the nine ball? It's, it's a thin one though. It's not really easy. Might be playing the combination and bring the cue ball around. Two balls gonna pop out towards the four. Oh, he played Ooh, a two off the eight. Oh, yeah. It's a good shot. He's playing very fast. Yeah. It's tough to call the shots before <laughs> you say something. He's already done something. Yeah, once the cue ball stops, he's down. Cannot afford himself to make another mistake. Any mistake could be over for this set. Yeah. Not really sure. That seven ball. I guess it will go to the bottom right corner. If not. You can play the 7-10 combination. Uh, yeah, 7-10. I don't, I don't think it goes. Oh, he's got quite straight on the combination, so. Yep, and there it goes. 3-1 down, Shane Van Boning. But no give up. He will try to, to steal this set. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Shane Van Boning down 3-1 to one against Jeremy Seaman in the second set. Great break. Both balls got towards the side, got to the point. No shot in the one. Made the five ball and indeed hooked on the one. Yeah, 
difficult push out as well because there is almost no balls around the one. And anywhere you push, you will leave a shot. Maybe tie up something, push some yeah. balls together. It's a pretty straightforward two nine or two seven combo too. Ah, uh, so now he decided to push to where if Jeremy goes for the one ball, he has no position on the two ball. Then still, I do like thinning the left side of the one, just banking the one ball to the short rail and bringing the cue ball all the way back down. Mm -hmm. He opted to give it back to Shane Bittman. Yeah, it's not an easy shot, but I think it's still manageable. Maybe a little bit left spin to avoid the kiss. Yeah, just like that. And if he gets that six ball. Nice. This nice is a shot. really good shot from Shane. Really good defense, yeah. And that's why I was saying I'm actually surprised that Jeremy gave that back. Yeah. And did he also can Jeremy kick using that top rail? I don't think he can. He could be jumping, yeah, I was gonna say. Might be his only way to get to the one ball. Where do you jump to? Maybe the jump bank to the left and bring the cue ball back as well. Well, he just hit it just in time and... He could be playing the, the 10 ball, but I don't, I don't think he would. No, I don't really think so. He might be able to cut the one and use the 10 to hold the cue yeah. ball for the two. And if he... Oh, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Played it with Max Follow to stay low down table for the two. That was a great shot. Oh, stopped the cue ball right there. He also opened that 10 ball for, or the, for the three ball. Slowly trying to get back into this set. Still not easy though. I don't think that seven ball goes to the same pocket as where he's going to shoot the four now. It could go uh, same pocket as the six. It's got a little angle to the other side of the table. Yeah, if you he look at like it. not like it. <laughs> so he's going to play super draw around the ten ball. Go left. Yeah, didn't really play much draw to get close to the seven. But he can play pocket speed, right? Mm -hmm. Great shot. Yeah, looking to make 3-2 here. Good speed, that's how it always slides in. And just center ball up to the nine in the bottom right corner in this view. Yeah, for sure, a very dangerous player in this format with his break. Yeah. It's one of the best breaks in the world. Three, two. And Boning is slowly coming back. You never want to stay comfortable when you're you're up. It it, it can always change. Yeah, and that's the beauty with the with this format, of course, that it's never really over.
So let's see what he can do on the break. Big break here. Not a huge break. Is he making? He made the one, and oh, look oh at this. Oh my goodness. Great, great, great break. That's what I'm saying, especially with his break. He's just a very dangerous player in this format. So, yeah, two, three, four, everything is just next to each other. Maybe the five to the six could be a little bit difficult, but I mean, what what is difficult? It's wide <laughs> open. Yeah. in the same side pocket. Could be choosing to shoot the six in the other side pocket. Looks like he's doing that. Yeah, there's really big steps around around the table right now. He's feeling very good. this out he only needs one more rank to finish the match we might not even get to that mm, third set yes the way he's shooting it's it's, it's un unbearable yeah it's hill hill yep, second set break the runs here and there and from being down 3-0 in the second set come back to Hill Hill yeah it's been playing really good yep seems comfortable but you never know what happens on the break after still needs one more good break yep got a feel for for Jeremy though was 3-0 up the only thing he's done wrong is not making a ball on the break yeah of course, a small jump or small kick shot, maybe, but it's not like he's missing balls all over the place. Mm -hmm. He's been playing a pretty good set so far. And there we go, shamed and boning. Hill, hill. Ooh, a lot of spin on there. And oh, oh, the spin took it. Yeah, quite the miss hit from Shane on the break and a golden opportunity here for Jeremy Seaman. Yes. Yeah, from there it took off. It hit the second diamond and the spin took it in. Yeah, do you see any problems on the table here? If the three passes, which I think it does, not really. Yeah, that three ball might be tricky indeed if it doesn't go there. So it's important to make a plan. The good thing though, if he can play one good position from the two to the three. Besides that, it's, there's not much challenge. Nope. Took his extension there. He'd rather choose us to take a little bit extra time and have a complete plan. Could have tapped in the one and then take the extra time. Yeah. yeah let's see what he's playing here. Tough to say from the screen if that three ball is going. Can he get underneath? Mm, I guess it doesn't go. Oh, well, it's a pretty good shot. Yeah, he's definitely has a shot to the top right corner. A little bit more difficult. He can stun the cue just past the side and leave himself a little longer for. Yep. Because the four and the five are next to each other. He's a little nervy shot though. Good shot. Yeah, 
can't imagine the nerves in the arena right now. Yeah, having a four. It's a good bump. And uh, oh, just got wow. it. Wow. <laughs> yeah, really took the risk, that risk, big risk there. So the cue ball really curved on him. Yeah, hit that four ball a little more firm than he wanted to, and before you know it, you're in no man's land. Yep. Far on the seven. I think he was trying to play it for the side, but I don't know. Yeah, this is not a gimme at all. Just cutting it to the side. Can go three rails around the eight. Oh, oh. he's missed it. Has not left a lot mm. though on the seven ball. It's not a gimme. But you see, he played it with a little inside spin because he only wanted to go two rails. And I think that caused him to hit the seven yeah. ball a little thicker. I'd expected him to play it with outside spin, run around go the eight, around. and then it will twist the seven ball always to the thin side. It looks like he's opting to bank the seven. Yeah, I don't think he's got anything else. Mm -mm. He's got to take the gamble here. Missed it, and what is he gonna give Jeremy? A shot. Well, has he locked up the eight? If he had, has locked up the eight, it could still get def quite difficult. But yeah, just came up a little long. Yeah. Now, of course, not happy with his performance, no. even though he was looking very good. It was a difficult shot, though. So let's see, probably going just above the nine. Just Better above the nine. I Barely made it. Yeah, I think he does. No, well, he's just kind of straight on the eight. Oh. Yeah, he got it. Can he still go forward? Two rails, maybe, to the center of the table? Or is he going to mm. cheat the pocket and, and, and draw the cue ball out? Oh, he decided Hit to the play nine. the bump. That's a good shot, though. Played it very nicely. Could have easily went wrong if he caught it thick, so. It's a strong shot. And now, just these two balls to win the second set, and we'll go to the deciding set here. It's 10 ball for the second set. Big shot. And there it goes. So yes. Jeremy C levels the score one each in sets. And well, there's quite some nerves in the arena yeah. so far. Yeah. Both players got a little nervous. Definitely a relief for him. He blew out the air. Yeah, it must be feeling good to at least still win the set because he was up 3 0. And then before he knew it, it was three yeah. each and yeah. Shane was breaking. You know, it was a pretty bad spot. Now on this side, if it goes hit hill, you'll go for a shootout. Yeah, so I'm already wondering if there's any players having some kind of mental strategy like, hey, if I, if I can get on three first, you know. Well, anyways, we'll go for a short two minute break as Jeremy left the arena for a little toilet break. We'll be right back.
welcome back here from the Alpha Las Vegas Open. With me in the booth here, still Sophia Must and myself, Tim de Ruiter. Currently waiting for Jeremy Seaman to get back as he just took a little bathroom break. A crazy match so far. Shane playing so well in the first set. Definitely, it's, it's been a roller coaster. Yeah, Shane playing so well in the first set, and then the second set, Jeremy took off 3 0 up. They got even, three each. And then still Jeremy managed to scrape through that last rack. Here we have on the other tables, Chang Yun Lin, Viktor Zelensky on the other one. I mean, the field is extremely strong at the moment. I think it's Gerson Martinez, Peru. Miesko Fortunski on the side. Yeah, this is just a little piece. We got four nine foot apex tables for the pros in this room. The other room has 13? 14. Uh, 13 or 14. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> I think 13. I think 13. Yeah, so, great setup so far. A lot of fans, a lot of spectators. It's great to watch. And Shane cannot wait to break the ball. So <laughs> <laughs> he cannot wait. His, his break's been good, good, pretty good. Um, and just twice that the yeah. cue ball had a lot of spin, so if he could yeah, tone that down a little bit, then. Because it, it scratched. Um, hell, hell. Okay. Didn't hit it as square as he did before. And. I'm not sure. I don't think he's left the one ball on, but I think he's left the opportunity for Jeremy to yeah, play yeah. a good safety. Yeah. Depending on that. No, I don't think that one ball goes. No. But Jeremy can thin that one ball and bring the cue ball behind the 8 6 4. Okay. He wants to get behind that 6. Oh, and, and didn't get there. Yeah, he's left that one ball on. This four ball still tough. It's yeah, he even pushed that four ball in a tougher position with the six. <coughs> and that three ball only goes to the left side pocket, so the options are not really much. Yeah. There's not many Limited. options. Ooh. Bump on the ten. Not bad though. One of the better options he could play, obviously, is playing the safety behind the six. Mm -hmm. If he can get straight on that four ball, he just sends a four away, glues the cue to the six, and gains control. It's mm, got straight. Yeah, I don't think he can still pop that cue ball out to play that safety. Can he maybe follow and try to shoot the four in the bottom right corner? Stuff, but yeah, yeah he's opting to play a different safety. If he hits the left side of the four, he can bring the cue ball two five. rails behind the five, always having the eight as a backup. Oh, oh, he went for the six. I guess the combo went. It was good. Yeah. Good shot. No, it's that six ball was there. Um, you would always have to go for it, of course. So then now he's solved all the problems and oh ooh, no, what has he done? You leave him a shot. Wow. Yeah, a little Unexpected. flabber gets it right here. Obviously, has done all the hard work for Jeremy. Mm -hmm. Great shot on the 4 6 combo, too. Yeah, this is up for grabs. Got a little straight on this 5 ball, though, so we'll have to shoot a longer 7 ball. Unless he will play power draw into the top long rail or something like that. But I don't think he will. Just made sure you had a nice angle to get that cue ball off the rail after. Quite some tension in the arena. I can feel both players are 
getting a little bit more emotional. Yes. <laughs> Which is great to watch for me, though. I mean, I, I, <laughs> the I more drama, the better. <laughs> oh, like, kind of. It's fun to watch. I like watching shootouts too. Those are those are great to watch. Yeah, we might have one right here. It's definitely a chance. Yeah, do not really expect him to play a big draw. Just draw back to where he is right now. Maybe just a little bit less, but a little weird hand. Well, he did try to get cute on the 10 to the side and it's a good shot yeah hit that great it's really got the speed down from the table by the looks of it and this 10 ball to draw first blood in this third set Jeremy Seaman is he going to be the surprise for this tournament yes yeah definitely kicking Shane from Boning out of the tournament is quite the feat Not many people that can say that they have beaten Shane Van Boning, so I'm pretty sure we'll see some more nerves. Yeah, referee wrecking the Predator Arcos two balls with the Predator Arrow Rack. Ready for Jeremy Seaman to break the balls. Hasn't been really successful on the break, so. I'm wondering, is he going to move the cue ball around or is he just going to stick with the same thing and hoping that yeah. momentum has changed? I, I feel like the better option is to move it because if it's just the same. Well, it doesn't really look like he's going to move it. Yeah. yeah Shane's, Shane's unhappy, of course. Yeah, he's done all the hard work last week. So Jeremy's sticking with the same thing. Is it, is it going to work for him? Pop and... Nope. The eight. Again, a dry yeah. break. It's definitely not working. Yeah, quite lucky not to leave something, but a quite easy safety shot here for Shane. Just bringing the cube all the way to the other side of the table behind the five, seven, ten. And one ball underneath the three. A little soft to get underneath the three, but it's got nice cover with the ten. Good shot. Nine ball, it looks like he called. Yeah, it's called a nine, and wondering if he plays it one or two rails. I think both could work out pretty well because he will always be sending that one ball to a big wall of balls downstairs or upstairs with eight, three, nine. Oh, look at this. Good shot. And left him, left him the edge. Yeah, but still, there's a big scratch going over yes. the left side of the one. So I think it will be enough. Unless Shane can hit it thick and send the one ball over to the other short rail. Kinda then he might like be able to get behind the two. Yeah, kind of looks like he can hit it thick. He dropped down pretty fast, so I think he does. And oh. Decided to play it soft and. I don't know if he got it. Yeah. Tough to see from the screen. Let's see, from here we will have the perfect view. Played it a little bit soft and I think he has left a small edge for Jeremy. If not, it should be a simple kick. It looks like he's, he can hit it. Definitely playing the good shots at the moment, Jeremy Seaman. Making sure that Shane doesn't come up with something mm -hmm. crazy and then well, get that the momentum table. going on again. Control the table. So he's still able to hit the edge, spin the cue ball out around the three. And he has done that, so not a great safety shot from Jeremy also not horrible but mm -hmm. now back and forth here yeah, 
might be able to go off the right side of the one, but most of the players will think it's scary because when they hit it too thick, they'll bring the cue ball and the one ball down table. Yeah. And also bank the one ball two rails down table and get the cue ball on the left side. But he has hit it a little thin. Is that gonna move far enough? Gotta, uh, yeah, I think he's just gone enough. A little bit, yeah. Might still be able to hit that little edge of the one, but I think it's for sure gonna run into the two. Yeah. Well, it made, made it work to play a more conservative conservative See, shot. Yeah. Just trying to make sure he wouldn't leave something easy for Jeremy. And Do you play here? Still thinking, I can't find anything. It's a little awkward. Yeah, it really is. Like there is nice spots where to put the cue ball behind the six or behind the five, but then the one ball will always go in the wild. Yeah, you Can could. You Maybe bank the one in between the four ten out and then bring the cue ball up to the six, but I'm not a big fan of this shot. Ooh, oh, he's done an wow. excellent job there. Nice shot. Great shot from Jeremy Seaman. Perfect cue ball control. Yeah, gotten frozen. Messing around the seven, trying to make the angle short. Great oh, hit. what a great hit from Shane and Boney. And especially his speed on that was very impressive. Yeah, he got didn't leave Jeremy much. Knew that this way he would always push that one up to the nine or the three. It's quite some good stuff that could happen there. I think Jeremy called the bank in the corner. On the side, I'm sorry. Wow, oh, great look job. at this. In between the balls. <laughs> Came up with a big shot on a big moment. This three ball is going to be a little tough. Got a little bit too far. He was probably playing to play the bank shot. And yeah. yeah. You see, he was stepping the table, was trying to get perfectly on the bank. And I'm yeah, quite surprised he tried to play for the bank as the 3 8 combination was not. Yeah. I mean, it is tough. There's distance in between the balls, but I think it was a good opportunity. This is the most obvious shot. Now, is he so disappointed that he's going to do something aggressive, or is he just going to. He called the bank. So. Two-way shot, probably. Yeah. No, oh. he played the safety. Did he get safe? That's the question. I think yeah, he I did. Yeah, I think he did. Good shot. Yeah, and just playing really good at the moment. Good safeties. He's really staying in control. So a kick from the back. Might have called it in the side of the six. In case you don't make it, it goes to the other short rail. Oh, you played it the other way. Would you go for this 3-8 three, three combo? Well, with the cue ball being on the rail. Yeah. But there's not really something else. There's no no way out to, for the safety. You might have to. 
it's either that or you can bank the three ball three four rails around to get to the other short rail but there's so much traffic i think he has to go here only two, so only two seconds does he not have an extension yeah i'm not sure but he I definitely didn't did. use him he tried to go all around the table and he definitely got lucky he apologized but i'm sure he's happy with the outcome Difficult though. There's a big scratch if he hits it a little bit too thick. Oh. It's not a bad shot. Yeah, again, one of those conservative yeah. shots, but very nicely controlled. Ten seconds left. Maybe play with a lot of right spin and get again behind the six, seven, ten, just like that. Oh, I think it's not good enough. No. Nope. Of course, he's left distance. It's not a guarantee to make it, but no. Nope. Any chance at the moment could be very costly. Two rails forward. Four ball does go to the bottom right corner, so always going to have a shot. Great and shot. <coughs> a good first shot. We'll need another good shot yeah. though before. Cue ball stays on the rail, I think. It's more difficult when it's on the rail, especially when you need to draw it back. Yeah, or can he go force follow to the short rail and back down table? Try oh to roll it in and leave a longer cut on the five. And the four ball's getting him. <laughs> he missed it the last game. Yeah, and again has now opened the whole rack for Jeremy to have a go at it. Yeah, I favor him to make the four nine combo. Could go play something else, could play the four of the eight. I do like the combo, yeah. Good as long as he didn't get behind the 10, everything was going good. to be okay, yeah. So I think this is key shot here. He can get nicely on the five, he's back in, in decent routine Nine. mode. to do yeah it's always nice to be close to your next shot more control now a little bit more angle on the five can play with just stop spin and run into the seven and if he doesn't hit the seven he will bump the ten good or shot not hit both <laughs> sure Slowly, Jeremy Seaman is starting to look a little better than Shane. Yeah. Good. Go further. I need to go back and forth, or if he has less angle, then he can just go sideways. Yeah, I think he can still play with low right. Kill the cue ball off that yeah. long rail. Anywhere center table is okay for me. Well, he decided to play even straight on the eight. Yeah. I think you play in the, the top, I mean the bottom right. Yeah, just low left here, going straight towards the 10. Oh, again, he was trying to, trying to get it to the side and not too sure about that. Still okay to shoot to a corner, but so has to be so perfect under these nervy circumstances. Big shot. Oh, nice. he 
nice. still made it. He made it work. Two zeros. Jeremy Seaman. Third set. Yeah, things are not looking too great for Shane Van Boning. No. But again, he was up 3 0. We'll go for a short little one minute break. We'll be right back. back. Jeremy Seaman up 2-0 in the third set. Race to four over Shane Van Boning. Okay, took a little speed off. Needs something to go and nothing again. Yeah, I think that's the main thing we can blame him after the match. We can tell him, hey listen your break. If <laughs> we really need to talk. Yeah. <laughs> we need so to work on that. Yeah. <laughs> Good opportunity for Shane if he rolls his one ball in. If he floats it in, he's always going to be on the two. Great shot. Yeah, and now he did punch it a little bit more, so he got really straight on the two. He might just have to drop it in and take the cut on the three, yeah. Not an easy cut. Also, control on the cue ball is difficult. Yeah. Can play with right spin, hopefully bumping the nine. Oh, he even went great in between. Shot. Yeah, Jeremy, Jeremy tapping his, yeah. his leg. Yeah, that's a great shot. It's not as easy as it looks. He makes everything look easy. It's just because he's also <laughs> playing so fast <laughs> right now. It's, it's really nice to watch. It's one more good positional shot. At eight, and eight and nine are a little bit annoying to get to the seven. So we'll go two rails. Yep. 50-50. Okay. okay bump on the eight, but still too much angle on the seven or at least not ideal yes for me though. yes of course he still got a shot and great shot yeah, very nicely played with stun left again a little bit short but yep. no he can do it again it's okay <laughs> <laughs> Now he's just playing low left, probably playing for the nine ball in the bottom left corner. Great. Oh, bottom right. So you have an angle. Draw to the side rail. Is he going to play very hard stun? Yeah. Good shot. Yeah, so first game on the board in this third set for Shane Van Boning. And it wasn't an easy out for him. No, no, for Shane. Also, knowing that the first two games he has had some opportunities and he didn't really grab it. Yep. So, it's a little confidence boost here. And now, if he can get that break going like we've seen during this match. He could go 2-2. Two -two. Or maybe better. Yeah. I think it's funny how fast he gets to the table. He changes cues and he's already there. <laughs> Just <laughs> He wants to break. Yeah, he cannot wait to break. Yeah, I think the player that changed the tempo break in the world 
I think he was one of the first to really start to squat the cue ball like that and like really get bring the cue ball all the way back in the kitchen and then stop. Like he, this break is very unique. Nice squat for the cue ball, made the four, and I think that one ball goes. One, yeah. Yeah. Pretty open too. Still a opening shot. Uh, we'll have to hold the cue ball a little bit down the one, so it's not really comfortable playing with that speed. And you will have to do it. Don't really see anything else. Playing low right just to be able to stroke the ball a little bit. Not sure, does that two ball go? I thought it didn't go. Oh, you can still cut it in the side yeah. and go three rails. Super thin. Always had the seven the right seven. there to stop and. Great. <laughs> yeah, really used used the seven to stop the cue ball and. You made the seven. Yeah, a little straight on the three, but can you still go forward? Two rails for the five in the side. Roll up yep. nearby the side pocket for the six in the top left corner, and then we're square at two. Would you shoot this in the same? In pocket, or yeah, he, he could go around the nine. I wouldn't mind him if he, if he would just slow roll it in and get the nine in the other corner pocket. A little far. Yeah, this is the this was one of the reasons why because the more you travel with the cue ball, the more risk you have. But it's okay shot though. Oh, he just made sure he made that uh, that nine ball. But he's close to the ten, so that makes everything a little easier. Good shot. There it goes. 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, break the run. Third two set. Each. If we go three each, we'll go to a shootout. And yep. I see no reason why we could not go there. Nope. He's, they're playing great. Yeah, it would be quite ironic. They changed the format, and now the first match in single elimination, <laughs> yeah. we get the shootout. But yeah. If, if, yeah, for the viewers at home, if they follow the match, they will understand that it's been really 50-50 so far. So let's see if Shane can get another break like that. the cue ball again and every time two. every time he loses the cue ball like that it also comes up dry made the seven. Oh, that seven ball man oh oops <laughs> i must be tired <laughs> it's getting late <laughs> but no shot on the one so we'll see jeremy back at the table probably with a very difficult shot trying to leave Jeremy for the jump because I don't I'm think not so too sure about this push I don't think he was trying to leave the, the jump but did he like does he like this so much hmm. oh, risky I don't think he's going to jump to make the one as that two ball doesn't go in the bottom left corner yeah Ooh. Ooh. And does he get fortunate? 
Well, it did drop in the yeah. side, but he has not called it there. So it's Jeremy's option yeah. if he wants to shoot the shot or not. Yeah, and if he really wants to go crazy, he could go for a 210 combo. I think that's a little crazy. Yeah, it is a little <laughs> crazy, I know. No, I do expect him to play safe. Most likely just to bank the two ball behind the 810 on the long rail, and then the cue ball underneath the 9-3. That's one of the shots I like. There's a lot, there's a big crowd. Yeah, yeah well, <laughs> everybody's feeling the tension inside yeah. and they all want to be a part of it. Yeah, I don't think he will go attack on this. Decided to Great play shot. more distance, played with a lot of right spin to check the cue ball back after the short rail. That's a good shot. Shane tapping the table is a very strong shot from Jeremy Seaman. They're both feeling very comfortable. Yeah, so Shane's got the jump cue out. Possibly playing this similar shot. Cue ball trying to get behind the five and the two ball back down table, but... Oh, you left him a shot. Yeah, and I think, especially being the underdog, I think it's fair to say yeah. Jeremy is the underdog in the match, to get on three first in this set would be huge. Mm -hmm. Because then you at least guarantee yourself to be in a shootout, yeah. and hopefully you get another yeah. opportunity. You could possibly win. So, big opportunity, and this... Better this bounce. It's not great. Might still be able to, if he just floats it in quite... Yeah, just medium speed, go off the nine, bump the five, and then take the cut on the four. Maybe yeah, use the nine, oh. but miss the three ball. Don't leave him much, I don't think. I don't think he left him the shot. Yeah, missed it. I think he was worried good. about position. Yeah, it, it did get a little, a little ugly from there. Shane probably banking this three ball. Bring the cue ball back down to the other side of the table. Yeah, and there it goes oh. and oh, catches no break there. That was a great shot, but no result. Yeah, hit the nine and then the nine really send him that way. Yeah, again, the jump cue. Called it just in the bottom left corner sure about the jump cue. I might be kicking using the short rail, but obviously if he can make this. So I'm close. surprised he called it there. He yeah, left him the shot in the side too. Hasn't been lucky with that, that jump shot. Yeah, you try to at least send that four ball to the other balls to hopefully get some cover, but he yeah. hit it a little bit too thin. And yeah, from here. Four and the five in the same side bucket. The six is next to it. If he gets straight on the eight, stop shot. Looking good. Yeah. yeah Jeremy Seaman is looking to be this. the first player to go on the hill. Six. Yeah, I can see on his facial expression, his breathing is getting a little heavier. Yeah. You can see the nerves are slowly coming there. I mean, he's realizing he can be chained and boning, especially as a, definitely feel good. as a USA player. You think that's something you can really put on your resume nowadays. Yeah. goes so, so don't see him missing this yeah Jeremy first on the hill 
Yeah, and at least guaranteeing himself a shootout, a shootout or a win. Or a win, so really big game that was. Yes, that was very, very, very big. Got sweaty hands here. <laughs> it's kind of exciting to watch. <laughs> yeah, Shane obviously not really impressed, or looks like he's no. not really impressed. He not knows happy. what he has to do. He, if he wins the next game, at least get to a shootout. And it could happen because Jeremy hasn't been breaking great. Nope. So could only take one break and that's it. Still not changing the spot. The cue ball a bit. Eight ball? ball? Yeah. Yes. Good shot on the one. Or well, has a shot. Yeah, he has a shot on the one. Not sure not, if. Not that great, but. Well, he might be queuing over that seven ball, which would make it a lot more yeah. difficult. Yeah, if he can cut this in with right spin and get to the right side of the two, this rack is wide open with the 6 10 combination. Could also play position for the six later, but yeah. Let's start with the one ball first. <laughs> well, it's difficult with the sliding cloth. A lot of right spin. It's going to turn more inside of the one. No, nope. he decided oh to play the safety goodness. and yeah, wow. caught a double kiss. Very surprised actually yeah. that he shot that. Would have always had the cue ball go to the other side of the table in case he would not make the one. So, yeah, ball in hand. Good chance for Shane. Come to a shootout. Yeah, more and more people gathering around this I table. I know, there's so many. I mean, a lot of people, they will now realize they were going to be looking at the scores and they go, oh, Jeremy's already on the hill. This might go shoot to a shootout, and there they all come. Looks like he got on the wrong side of this five ball. It's yeah, a little wrong idea. angle on the floor. Yeah. But he might be able to play with top left and go two rails. Just like that, beautiful shot. Yes, that was the great. The only thing he would not want to be is straight. Is he gonna end up straight? Yeah, uh, I think he just got straight. With his facial expansion. Yeah, wants to be as close as possible to that 16 combination and being straight is... No, I, not ideal. No. Okay. Call this extension. He knows this is the shot. What do you play here? I think he might be... Yeah. I'm not sure top. if he can get away from that nine ball if he draws it, so... Well, really force oh. it out and... How is he going to end up on the six? Can't jack up. What a shot yeah, from Shane. Yeah, that was great. Being so straight and still force it over. Look at that spin. Yeah, that was a great shot. <laughs> and it, it looks like it goes past that nine, too. Good yeah, shot. There we go. Only two balls left to go to a shootout, and the pressure is really yeah. building up in here. You can kind of see it on his face. His cheeks are kind of getting red. Yeah, and it's, 
it's definitely a lot, a lot. Like you want a, a lot of pressure because you, you really want to win. And for a lot of people, he's the favorite, of course. So it looks like we have, we have a shootout, shootout. here. <laughs> they just changed this format and it's it just, it just the first. <laughs> it just had to be because this match was going to be so 50-50. Yeah. Both have been playing so well. So the referee just told me that for the shootout, they're just going to use the third box to hold the score. So that means they'll have four shots. It could be 7-7, seven, seven, but they just add up from there. Okay. Just to make sure for the viewers and for us, of course, too. So they don't go to sudden death, or do, or do they? If they tie after four shootout shots. Okay. Then, yeah. okay. Yeah, it's the same rules. I have a feeling we will see the graphic soon with the rules. Yeah, such a such a good match so far. Yes, it's, it's been great. It's been changing events. Well, and that's what I like with the sets too, is that that momentum is going up and down, left and right. It's just, here we have the graphics. So we got four shot each for alternating sides and the player with the highest score after four innings wins. So both players shoot from one side of the table, then they alternate the sides. If they tie after four shots, we'll go to sudden death. The box will go smaller and it will get more intense. Yes. So Shane Van Boning shooting first because he's won the lag. Oh, and he Good makes shot. the first one. And that's the biggest advantage of shooting first is if you make it, you put so much pressure on your opponent. Yeah. Yeah, it looked like a solid execution. Yeah. No real th you could not see really see any pressure. No, not at all. So looking Went smooth. Straight in the pocket. Yeah, now let's see how Jeremy F Seaman is feeling. The crowd. So much. He decided to put it diamond to diamond. There's two different ways to play. Just top spin or stun left. Oh, oh no. Oh no. So it's all Shane now. If Shane keeps making it from here. He does not look happy. Ooh, such an important moment here. Especially because Shane has made the first one. Yeah. other side expecting to do the same thing low right around the corners Shane Van Boning straight in the hole shooting really good spot shots yeah, 2-0 and Jeremy really has to make this yeah if he wants to still have a chance yes of course it's all about Shane if Shane keeps making it then there's nothing Jeremy can do from here, but at least you want to play yourself into the game. Good shot. Yeah, and he makes his second one. He really needed to make that yes. one, in my opinion. Because <laughs> yes. If, yeah, he needs to stay close, at least have one difference, not two. They're both shooting in the center. So, Shane makes this one. Puts a lot. He, then Jeremy, Jeremy has to has make, to to make, make other it, one. Yeah. This one, uh, this one is important. And again, mm. straight in the pocket. So if Jeremy doesn't make this one, then Shane Van Boning would win. Yeah, Shane ben Van Boning would go through the last 32, and Jeremy Seaman would, unfortunately, go home. Yes. 
With being in the winners too. Yeah, qualify through the winners, draw Shane and losing a shootout would be quite tough, so. Yeah. But it's never over till it's over. Nope. But first he's gotta make this one. There's been roller coasters in this match too. So you never know. There, there we, go. we go. So it's all Shane now. If Shane yeah. makes this one, then he wins. Yeah, it still it would be over for Jeremy. He still doesn't look comfortable. I mean, I wouldn't be. There's a lot of pressure in here. <laughs> My hands are so sweaty. <laughs> Shane Van Boning. Is he going through to the last 32 here? One shot away. He is. And there he goes. He scrapes yeah. through. <laughs> what an unbelievable Barely. match from both players. Unfortunately, one had to go home. Jeremy Cena will leave the tournament, and Shane Van Boning will proceed to the last 32. Thank you, Sophia Moss, for being here with me. This was Sophia Moss and myself, Tim de Ruiter, and we would love to see you back at 9 p.m. for yes. another last 64 match. Thank, Thank you. you.